Hi there, this is Adamus DM, and today I'm gonna show you all the miniatures that I painted this year, this being 2020. My goal for this year was to paint 12 miniatures. I know that's not much, but because I was only starting, I wanted to set the bar quite low. To start off, I have this tabaxi rogue. I had a lot of fun painting this one, and I based it using little planks of wood, so it looks like a deck of a ship. I'm intending to use it in a sea-based campaign as one of the crew members, or maybe a playable character. Second, I have those three grung. They were not too complicated to paint, but I really enjoyed it. Also, the glossy finish makes them look damp, which is very accurate to what they're supposed to be. Next up, I have this guillotine from Deep Cuts. That was a very short project. I think it took me about an hour to paint it all. I really wanted to try painting the set piece that Whiskit sometimes does, and this one seemed fun to do. Next, I have this water elemental. I really love the sculpt, but I'm not yet uh, an expert in painting those translucent miniatures. I like the effect that the white dry brush gave it. It makes it look a little bit like it's foaming on the surface. Next up, I have this dire wolf here. According to the packaging, it was supposed to be a white wolf, but I decided that the dire wolf would be much more desirable in the current state of my D&D campaigns. Uh, next up I have those two doppelgangers. Just like a triad that I'll be showing in a second, they were painted more because I was bored than the fact that I needed them or wanted them painted expertly. Next up we have a crocodile. I'm not very happy about this miniature. I think I just wanted to see if I'll be able to paint it convincingly, and I didn't manage. The water around it makes it look quite sloppy, and I think I'm gonna redo it in the near future. Next up, we have a Shadow Mastiff. I really like the sculpt of the miniature, and really wanted to use it in one of my sessions, so I painted it quite quickly. Even though I didn't put too much work into it, I really like the the effect. Next up we have this dinosaur. I think it's a raptor. I bought it mostly because the pose was dynamic. I didn't use it yet in any of my campaigns and I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna use it. But I like how it came out. It was very fun to paint those stripes all over it. Next up here's a dryad that I painted recently. Just like I said before, it's like with the doppelgangers. I didn't want to waste too much time, but I was a bit bored, so I just took a couple colors and made it look as good as possible in a short amount of time. Next, I have the miniature that I'm most proud of. If you follow my Instagram, you might have seen it already a couple weeks ago. Here's Darth Vader. This miniature is a little bit bigger than most miniatures that I paint. It's from Star Wars Legion. I didn't buy the whole set, I bought it separately just to paint this character. I tried to follow a tutorial quite closely and see if I'm able to recreate everything step by step. I'm very happy with the result. Last but not least, this is not a miniature that I will be using anytime soon or at all, but I wanted to show you this little diorama in a jar that I made. If you follow my social media, you might have seen it because I made two different dioramas in a jar. And that's it! These are all the miniatures that I painted in the year 2020. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully next year I'll be able to paint even more. See you next time!